agree. Very bold. Pink shirt. Glad to see I'm not the most garishly dressed people here. Please tell me you don't know each other and you just met in line. A, Shut the fuck up! Really wanted to make it on TV, didn't you? No, I had the same thought. I'm stalling, be here's the set begins weird. I killed a pigeon with my bicycle. Yeah, it's the only thing some people will laugh at. Kill a pigeon and people go, ha 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 ha. Well, the child pornographer of the animal kingdom, good. Oh, some of you don't like that description, really? Well, listen up, the pigeon is disgusting. It's a gross animal. Do you know how it's created? A man with a mullet fucks a pack of cigarettes and the pigeon is born. <laughs> And some of you at the back, I can see you shaking your head. Well, guess what? You've never seen a baby pigeon, but you have been to a park. And what do you find there? A man with a mullet holding a pack of cigarettes at his feet, hundreds of pigeons. <laughs> that's not a man being a creep. That's a father visiting his kids. <laughs> I, do, I do ride a bike. I ride a bike uh, every day. And I don't look good doing it at all. I look like a guy who's got caught drinking and driving so many times, he now has to ride a bike. <laughs> and I do it for a specific reason. I ride a bike. I ride a bike because I want to be able to look down on vegans justifiably. <laughs> oh, what's that, Chloe? Based on your dietary choices, you're cutting down on your greenhouse gas creation by 25%? That's fascinating. Quick question. Whose car is this? <laughs> Oh, you only use it to pick up kale figures. <laughs> the reason I'm appearing on the show is to find out, am I the only one that thought kale was a fish until 2015? <laughs> no. And the reason why I do look down on vegans and have a problem with vegans is not because I'm a meteor and like, oh, vegans, me, 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 as I'm a vegetarian, and so vegans look down on me with such viciousness and bile. Because meat eaters, they think of you as lost causes, but vegetarians are like, oh, you're so close. <laughs> Just give it all up. No, I can't give it all up. Have you tried cheese, people? It's, it's phenomenal. <laughs> and I'm not spending my entire life sifting through the ingredients of every food item to see if a bit of a cow happens to make an appearance. Because cows are in everything. They are the Samuel L. Jackson of food. Show up when you least expect it and you're always happy he's there. I'm very much in love. I have a girlfriend back home in Canada. I miss her very much. It's been out here doing the festival and it's difficult. This distance, we're trying things to keep the spark alive. We've attempted Skype sex, and if you've tried it, you'll know it gets grim quickly. <laughs> I found that I was watching me. <laughs> A great deal more than I was watching her. <laughs> which must have been so off-putting for the poor government spy monitoring my account. <laughs> I love history. There's an article that was just published, and uh, in this article it states that uh, during the sinking of the Titanic, more people would have survived if all the women had been in the water and the men had been in the boats and flotation devices. And that's because at that time in history, women had more body fat than men, so they could survive longer in the cold, cold water. I, for one, would like to meet this hateful fucking man who published this study possibly titled, These Fat Sluts Killed My Friends. <laughs> That's the odd segue I've selected to tell you all that I, I consider myself a feminist. Now, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about saying it because every time I've said in public, oh, I consider myself a feminist, someone yells at me like I'm doing something wrong. I said it once in a party and an old woman, 60 years old, turned around and just went, you said you were a feminist, well, you're not a feminist. You wanna know why you're not a feminist? Because uh, you're not menstruating. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say, as if that is what would make me feminist, the ability to menstruate. But the reason why she was saying is she didn't like me, a straight white male, saying I was a feminist, so she wanted to spook me by mentioning my natural enemy, a woman's menstrual cycle, figuring I would run away. But I won't run away. To me, a woman's menstrual cycle is not disgusting. It is a beautiful celebration of the fact I am not a father for another 28 days. Thank you very much, Melbourne. Enjoy your festival. See you later. Bye-bye.